Today we're diving deep, literally into one of the most fascinating and powerful places on Earth, Campi Flegre, or the Flegrean Fields, right next to Naples, Italy. Forget what you think you know about volcanoes because this isn't your typical mountain cone. This is a supervolcano, and much of its activity is happening right under the sea. So what exactly is a supervolcano? Imagine a regular volcano is like a soda can you shake up and pop the top. A supervolcano is more like a giant underground balloon of magma that's been inflating for thousands of years. Campi Flegre is one of these, a massive caldera which is basically a huge depression in the ground left over from an ancient, colossal eruption. We're talking about an area that's home to over half a million people, living directly on top of this slumbering giant. Now you might have heard about the recent earthquakes in the area. The ground is literally rising and falling in a phenomenon called bradyseism. Think of it like the earth is taking slow, deep breaths. This movement is causing the ground to stretch and crack, leading to swarms of small earthquakes. It's unsettling for the people living there, and it's a clear sign that something is stirring deep below. But the really wild part? A lot of the action isn't even happening on land. It's happening beneath the waves in the Gulf of Podswoli. This is where we, as seismologists and volcanologists, get super interested. Using special underwater vehicles like ROVs or remotely operated vehicles, scientists have discovered an incredible world of hydrothermal vents on the seafloor. Picture this. You're in a tiny submarine cruising along the dark seabed and suddenly you see these chimney-like structures billowing what looks like smoke. But it's not smoke. It's superheated, mineral-rich water and gas gushing out from the Earth's crust. These are the underwater vents of Campi Flegre. It's like getting a direct peek into the volcano's plumbing system. So what are these vents telling us? They are like pressure release valves for the magmatic system below. The gases escaping are a cocktail of carbon dioxide, sulfur compounds, and other volcanic gases. By sampling these gases, scientists can analyze the breath of the volcano. Is the gas composition changing? Is the temperature increasing? These are crucial clues. A change in the gas mix could signal that fresh magma is rising from the depths, which could increase the likelihood of an eruption. Think of it like checking the warning lights on a car's dashboard. These vents are our natural sensors. We deploy instruments right next to them to measure temperature, pressure, and gas chemistry 24-7. It's a high-tech surveillance system for a supervolcano. This data streams back to observatories in real time, allowing scientists to monitor even the slightest change. One of the key things we're looking for is an increase in the release of magmatic fluids. When magma deep down starts to degas, it releases water and CO2. If these fluids start pushing their way up towards the surface, they can heat up the groundwater, causing it to flash to steam. This process can be incredibly explosive and is a major concern. It's a phenomenon called a phreatic eruption. The underwater vents help us track how close this superheated fluid system is to the surface. And it's not just about the chemistry. We also use sound. Hydrophones, which are essentially underwater microphones, are placed around the vent fields. They listen for the rumbles, pops, and hisses of the degassing process. This acoustic data helps us map out where the activity is most intense and how it's changing over time. It's like being a doctor listening to a patient's heartbeat and breathing. But in this case, the patient is a massive, restless volcano. The recent increase in seismic activity, the earthquakes, is directly linked to this underground pressure cooker. As the ground swells from the magma and hot fluids below, it creates stress in the rock. Eventually, that stress is released as an earthquake. By combining the seismic data from land with the hydrothermal vent data from the sea, we can build a much more complete 3D picture of what's happening. We can see how the magma chamber is behaving, where fluids are moving, and which faults are under the most stress. So should people be packing their bags? The experts at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology are monitoring the situation around the clock. Right now, the consensus is that a massive caldera-forming eruption isn't imminent. The current activity is more likely related to the movement of hydrothermal fluids, not a huge volume of magma rocketing to the surface. However, the situation is dynamic and unpredictable. The risk of smaller but still dangerous phreatic or phreatomagmatic eruptions is very real. 
which is why the alert level has been raised and emergency plans are constantly being reviewed and updated. Studying these underwater vents isn't just about predicting the next big one. It's about understanding the fundamental processes that drive our planet. These vents are windows into a hidden world, showing us how heat and chemicals from the Earth's interior shape the surface, create unique ecosystems, and pose risks that we must learn to live with. The work being done at Campi Flegre is at the cutting edge of volcanology, combining geology, chemistry, and marine biology. It's a powerful reminder that our planet is alive, constantly changing, and that there are immense forces at play right beneath our feet and even beneath the seafloor. The story of Campi Flegre is a story of resilience, scientific discovery, and the delicate balance between humanity and the immense power of nature. Thanks so much for diving deep with me today. It's a complex topic, but hopefully, this gives you a clearer picture of what's happening at this incredible supervolcano. If you found this interesting, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more science content, and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next video.